Hi everybody, welcome back to Tips For You. Well, did you ever wonder when you pass one of those cosmetics counters whether or not those anti-wrinkle creams work? I mean, there's so many of them, it can be so overwhelming. Um, the answer is, and I'll tell you right off, is no. They don't penetrate into the second layer of skin, which is called the dermis, which is where you need to stimulate collagen production. Collagen is what gives our skin its smoothness, or its youthful look, its elasticity. It's the binding structure that holds everything together. It's like the cement. Do you ever look at a young child and notice their beautiful smooth skin and their shiny hair? Well, they have a really high abundance of collagen. And as we get older, collagen production starts to slow. And this weakens our skin. And that's when you start to get sagging and fine lines and, 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 and of course we've got the sun working against us as well. And a lot of my young viewers write to me because they're very well aware of all the ads that they see on television and the cosmetics that they see, um, whether they should start using anti wrinkle creams. Things with Retin-A in them, Retinol, these sound familiar to you, alpha hydroxy acids, beta hydroxy acids. And I usually tell them no, uh, they're too young for that. And you really don't want to use these kinds of things on your skin. They, cause, they actually can cause damage to your skin. They can actually cause you to age faster. Now how does that happen? Well, it's thinning the layer of your skin. Anything that works on your skin that can thin it. Now think about what you're doing when you wear it, when you put them on. They actually slough off layers of skin. And yes, it can be good to slough off dead skin cells, but you don't want to do it too often, and you can do it with different things. You can just use little scrubs to do it. You don't have to use acids and chemicals on your skin to do it. And I'm a big believer in skin creams. I do use them, but I don't use them for that reason. I use them to keep my skin soft, to keep it from drying out, because you, you move your face a lot during the day, and if you're, you're moving a dry, cracked face, obviously you're going to get lines a lot quicker. And I also use it because it has a sunscreen. And that is what we can do the best for our skin. Using a sunscreen every day, and this is what I tell my younger viewers, use the sunscreen because that will prevent most of the damage and the aging that is caused on your skin. If you want to see what I use on my skin, I do have a skincare video that I put up. Um, there's like a part one and a part two with all the skincare uh, stuff that I use. And I did use actually Retin-A as well. When I was very much younger, I had an acne problem and the, the dermatologist prescribed it for me to treat acne. Um, I don't think it should be just liberally used uh, the way it is in everything out there in the market. I mean, you know, if you want to use it in the care of a dermatologist and he recommends it in, your, in his care for something, that's a different story. But anything that makes you more photosensitive, or se which is sensitive to the sun, is going to enhance aging, so be careful with that. But I do have some tips for you on how you can boost collagen production in your body. That is how you can actually increase the beauty of, and youthfulness of your skin through the collagen that's produced under your skin, the collagen that we lose as we get older. We want to keep boosting that. We can do that with several really great foods. Here are some foods for you to consider. The first one is soy products. Soy is really good because it contains a substance called genistein, and genistein helps boost the collagen production in your skin. Anything that contains soy will do, like soy milk, tofu, soy beans, whatever you like, just add that to your diet. The next thing I want to recommend, gr dark green leafy vegetables. I mean, all these foods have great effects on the body, but now we're just talking about collagen and the skin. Things like kale, spinach, um, collard greens, dark green leafy vegetables, add them to your diet. They have high contents of vitamin C. Vitamin C helps repair your skin, helps ward off the free radicals. These vegetables contain a substance called lutein. Lutein is fantastic for boosting hydration and elasticity in the skin. So you'll want to add them to your diet. Another food you'll want to add, beans. 
Beans are fantastic for your skin. Um, two to three tablespoons a day, they contain a substance known as hyaluronic acid. So beans help your body produce that acid, which helps your skin look younger. So add beans to your diet. I eat beans a lot because I don't always want to have meat, so I'll eat black beans. I love chickpeas. I eat edamame, which is a soybean and a bean, and I mix it with black beans and some corn. These are really, really good for your skin. Red, orange, and yellow fruits and vegetables. These are really good. They actually accumulate under the skin and can act, believe it or not, like an SPF. Just eating like five or six servings throughout the week can boost your natural SPF um, defense against the sun. It's pretty amazing that your body can do that. So add them into your diet for that reason. But they also will boost collagen production. And they also contain something called lycopenes. I'm sure you've heard it. Um, people eat you know, tomatoes and tomato sauce. You have to cook it to get the benefits of the lycopene but the lycopene is a fantastic antioxidant for the skin and that will help boost your collagen production. We talked about vitamin C. I just want to mention it again because it is so important for your skin. It stops free radical damage and it enhances our skin. It adds elasticity to our skin. Um, and a lot of the things I just mentioned, the dark green leafy vegetables and the orange and red fruits and vegetables, they contain vitamin C. Um, as does something called rose hips. Rose hips are probably one of the highest containing vitamin C uh, foods out there, and they actually grow on rose bushes. You might have seen them, they're like little, almost like little round, orangey, reddish, cherry type things. Most people make a tea out of them. They dry them and then they make them for a tea or they make jam out of it, but the problem is as soon as you heat it, you're going to kill off the vitamin C. So I recommend that if you have them around you or nearby or you're hiking and you come across them, that you eat them raw. Just uh, pop them open with your hand, pull out those little seeds, and you can eat them just like you would pick a cherry and eat it and take the pit out of the center. They're really, really healthy for you. And it's something you may not have even like become familiar with. And I know they have it in pill form. Try to avoid supplements. Um, I think it's better to get the real true thing. I mean, you could certainly take a supplement. You know, they have vitamin C with rose hips because it enhances absorption of vitamin C. But I wanted to tell you the food because I'm really, I think as the years have gone by, I'm really am, am amazed at how, you know, this beautiful earth gives us everything we need in what she has to offer to keep us healthy and strong and that we don't need to turn to pills and synthetic things to do that. So I'm trying to give you a more natural approach. Then we have omega, th omega fatty acids, omega-3s, you know, um, but omega fatty acids are really good for your skin. Things that contain omega fatty acids would be, um, you know, fish, salmon, tuna, things like that. Also nuts, cashews, almonds, and flaxseed. Um, work them into your diet. Flaxseed you can maybe put into smoothies or cereals. That helps create an environment. Uh, to boost collagen production. It's great for your skin. You should add them into your diet every week. Another food I wanted to mention is prunes. Um, everybody thinks of prunes as a laxative, but they're a great snack. I love adding them to my cereal. Prunes have the highest antioxidant levels among foods. Probably second would be blueberries, but I bet you didn't know that prunes were so high in antioxidants and when you have foods high in antioxidants, you're going to kill off those free radicals and you're going, and those are the things that, you know, damage our skin and slow down the collagen production. So you want to incorporate the prunes into your diet because then you can enhance the collagen production of your skin. And something else that I found pretty interesting was uh, turkey. Adding turkey to your diet. I have turkey often. I like ground turkey because it's quick and easy, but it contains a protein called carnosine. And what that's useful for is um, keeping the elasticity in our skin. So like when you smile and you get like a little laugh line here and then you stop smiling, um, your, your skin bounces back. So there's like a cross-linking feature under your skin that allows it to be elastic so that you can smile and not smile. And then when you don't smile, you don't see the lines. Um, it's just that spring effect that comes so you can you can enhance that by consuming turkey. 
So turkey is great for you. It's also you know, a, a very high protein food, so it's really good for you. And then there's my favorite, chocolate. Chocolate is very high in antioxidants. Chocolate boosts the collagen production in your skin, but it has to be dark chocolate. Sorry for you milk chocolate lovers out there, but the dark chocolate is the only one that's going to work for this. And I also want to recommend Manuka honey. Manuka honey is a special kind of honey that's uh, gathered in New Zealand. It has really wonderful healing properties. I actually did a video about honey for the skin. But putting honey on your skin, which is how you get the benefits with honey, all these other things I was talking about, um, you know, you're ingesting it, but with the honey, we're talking about putting it on your skin to enhance its smoothness, enhances skin cell turnover. It supports the skin cell renewal process. It helps skin restore itself. So put some, some honey on your face, leave it there for a little while, like a little honey mask, I don't know, 15 minutes, and then wash it away. It's very rich in antioxidants as well, and it's good for pimples and blemishes and, you know, things like that. It's good for your skin. And the last thing I want to mention is avocado oil. Avocado oil has been scientifically proven to stimulate collagen production in the skin. So we're going to place it on our face, the, the um, avocado oil. And it's very high in plant steroids, which helps clear the skin if you have pimples and blemishes and things like that. This is a wonderful product to get for your skin. And I'll get back to you with a video on avocado oil for your skin. See, those are the foods that I wanted to mention to you um, to help you boost your collagen in your diet. Because we have so much control over how we look just by the way we live our lives. Um, there are so many things that you can do to help yourself, you know, from the inside out. If you want beautiful skin, eat a great diet, get enough rest, wear your sunscreen, drink water, exercise. These are all important things. And if you're doing all those things, you're going to look fabulous. The younger you realize it and the younger you start, the, the more gracefully you're going to age. I mean, we're all going to age and, and we'll wear it proudly. But why not help yourself do it as nicely as you can with a healthy diet and clean living, a clean diet. And nature provides all that we need. As you saw by these foods, they all boost collagen production. They all help your body keep producing something that the body starts to, to lose as it gets older. Okay, so I hope you found this video very helpful and informative. And please subscribe because I have a lot more to come, something of interest to everyone. And please visit me at my blog spot where I do a lot of writing. And I'm also on Facebook and Twitter so we can stay connected there as well. Okay, thanks so much for viewing. Bye-bye now. Well, to wash my face, and I do this in the morning when I wake up and at night before bed, I always use...